Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Layers of Fear 2. Last time we realized that they had a food shortage, uh, two kids who we maybe seen one because we saw a little boy, but we don't know what's going on there, but they've had issues finding food as well. And we read this last time, so I'm just going to kind of like look at it and then, yeah, he's talking about how the food was rotted and whatnot, left to rot. The end of the last one we did that, we read that, and then we did this, and then everything's new from here on out. And we also learned that we could actually go against the voice in our head or whatever, the God's voice, whoever's making the, whoever's talking in our heads, pretty much, we can actually go against them. But anyways, let's get back into the game. Ooh, you can eat some rats. We got live rats too. I mean, if you like boneless chicken wings, there you go. Let's see what we got here. Maybe there's some food here. Come on, we have to go. Oh. Did you hear that? This way. James, run. <laughs> oh, the rats are dead. <laughs> Never mind. I think we need to like hide. Yep, don't know what it is, but that's definitely what we gotta do. Made it. Weird things going on in the Titanic. <laughs> Might as well call it that. Big ass boat. Okay, so we have one there. Looks like we have to like run across. Oh shit. Oh god, we died that quickly. That was kind of shitty because of the like, uh, you know, the fence breaking there instantly. If you didn't know, you would die. So our goal is to run towards the. Runs toward that um, desk. Try not to get burnt in the process. There's another desk right there. Or it's a chair. Okay, we're going over there. We might be able to make it. I don't think so. Let's see here. Oh, yes, we did. Perfect. Okay. I guess something evil is going on. Avoid the fire. It's a no. Nope. Pick that up. The heart of the city. It beats no more. We failed them. This world never deserved us. Let's watch it burn. Together. Alright, let's pick that up and run away. <laughs> run away before we get burnt. I think that's everything we need here. I'll just keep on moving. Do a little running. Oh shit. I was not expecting that. Okay. It's like I... I was never really here. The ring. She's gonna come out of the TV. All right, well, he's floating. Oh, he's hanging. The Black Wanderer and the Secret of the Flame. I see, someone killed themselves here. Oh, there's a body there. Strange things are going on around here. 
Let's turn on the water because that's what we do. Waste water. And I think we're good here. We'll take the ladder. Okay, body parts in there. That seems to be like some flames. Gonna avoid that. The killing joke. Step into the light. Get it because you die. <laughs> you know? Pretty simple. Oh. Well, let me run away. Gotta figure out this uh, contraption. I didn't get it all the way. Oh, I'm getting burnt. Son of a bitch. Locked. Luckily, we survived. It's because I took too long because of the light. I'm just glad this fence didn't break. Big dead. Alright, come on now. Man, where is this flame coming from though, you know? Alright, what do we got here? Oh, water's flowing up. <laughs> it's not going down. Okay, so we probably can't open the door. It's probably something we have the power. It's probably in here. <laughs> Drop it in there. Yep, burn him. Or electrocute him, I mean. Electrocuted to death. You did it, Mr. Hardy. Now go. Oh, that's weird. The Black Wanderer and the Secret of the Flame. Yeah, well, we'll let that go. It's locked. Let me wait a little bit. Don't want to accidentally get burnt here. And there's our weird mask thing. A weird painting. Oh, look at that. To be honest, like, look at this door, though. Like, who would put a, a face on a door? It's a little weird, not gonna lie. Well, I see a man of the arts as well. Watch out. Keep moving. Oh shit. Coming out of the TV like a damn ring. Sydney, this bitch is gonna mess up my floor. Run away. That's scary movie three reference. You're almost there. Just a bit further. Hell, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna close the door. Alright, I'll close this one. Oh, loading point. Uh oh. Yeah, that was weird. I guess it was like a loading screen, maybe? Bloody We're gonna need this. Roots. We're probably gonna need this one for the third chapter, a third act. I'm just kind of mad because I think we missed something. I mean, nothing big, but it might have been like a picture or something. Oh, we're back in here. The hell made that ring in? Look at that. Look on the ground there. Recording. All right, let's see what we got in here. So a lot of flames. And that's about it. 
A blank, a house is built of walls and beams. A home is built of fears and dreams. Interesting. Do we have anything we can play here? Yes, we do. Number three. That's fucking weird. If a kid tells you, you know, that shit, I'd be scared. You've always been here. Wait, did the paintings change or have they always been like that? Oh, well, look at that. Is the food real? No one knows. Let's make sure this door's still closed. No. You run, but do you know the way? You build one character. You destroy the other. There's no other way. You follow reason. You see through it. You cut away the strings. All right, well, accidentally going to act three, I think, or something. Note to self, we won't uh, go out the door yet. But look, he has food that's actually good. Oh, the light's actually off in there. I don't want to open up that door and then. All right, we'll do it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, all over again. But do you know the way? All right, well, oops, you my bad. One character, you destroy the other. There's no other way. You follow reason, you see through it, you cut away the strings. Alrighty, note to self, we won't be opening up that door. But it's kind of telling me some things. So the girl that we shot the first time is there. And then the dog that we, you know, gave is there as well. This picker or this uh, paper that we got last time. Let's see if there's anything strange out here. Oh, what is that? Yeah, zoom in. Cage of some sort. And it's disappeared. Oh, and it's here. It's telling the time. Interesting. Yeah, look, it looks like we did miss a painting. Oh, well. It is what it is. Build a character look within context, background. What brought me here? The present rooted in the past. There's a painting again. And number three. What's past is prologue. What's seeped into the earth becomes fodder, a fuel. For the flame, the lifeblood for the roots of existence. The roots grow strong, become a foundation, but they can also bind, entangle, hold him in place, pull him 
under, away from the air, away from the light, to wither away, forever struggling, thinking of what could have been. Roots, he must cut them away. Only then, can he be truly free? Alrighty. Act three, bloody roots. I'm assuming it's like family. And there's a knife. I think we read this last time. Yep. I don't think that knife was there before though, which is weird. And there's a weird hole here. Well, I think I figured out where we're going now. All the spider webs and whatnot. What are you doing? Here, listen. But how does it do that? A sea couldn't fit in there. It's the spirit of the sea. It captured its strength, its calm, its freedom, so it can live on forever. Spirit of the sea. Interesting. If I remember, I might call this video that. Man, I hope we're going the right way. <laughs> Oh, it's dark in here, though. Is there anything of importance before we jump down? Don't think so. Let's go. Break his ankle. Oh, wow. That's kind of weird. It's like it's not like, you know, straight. It's all diagonal. It's really bothering me. Okay, so we're in the... I guess this guy's past, maybe? His home? You know, bad home. Wait, we're too small. We have to be a kid here. No doubt about it. Alright, there's a key. I'll be sending over a new reel tomorrow. Pirate film. Her the Yanks love it. Give this one a good spin. More screening means more art, art asses in the seats and more reasons for me to keep paying you. So if they say Yanks, this means it's South America or South United States. Kitchen. Go in there. I don't want to go in there just yet. Especially when it's kind of like telling me to go that way, right? think so. Next there as well. Symbolizes maybe he has no food as well. Alright, let's run into the kitchen. Come, faithful servant. For tonight we brew a ghoulish concoction. The world's strangest stew. What we got here? Barley the cannoneer. He eats a lot of whole wheat. A whole lot. So he is round like a cannonball himself. This one time he almost shot himself out of a cannon. I see. He's a big un. Okay, there's really nothing here. So we're probably going to come up here. Uh, what's in here I wonder? Okay. Do we need to pick up food or something? Let me just kind of look around here. Oh, here, let me come up here. Oh. 
Here we go. I would have been there all day trying to figure that out. Is that a brain? Seasoned by sadness, burnt from within, ravaged by madness, rotten with sin. Guess we're gonna cook it. Yep, we're gonna cook brain. Well, yeah, you know what? I've always wanted to try brain, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. You know, monkey brains is a delicacy somewhere. We'll go this way. Give me the leg. You're not gonna give me the leg, huh? Torn up by conflict, ravaged by war, flawed on the surface, warped to its core. Now what is this? Is this supposed to be like a bear's arm or something? Like, I have no idea. Maybe it... I don't know. But I'll take it. I'll just close the door. Don't mind me. Let's go over here. Probably another body part over here. Oh, some rat. Look at him. Oh, he's a big in. Hollowed by longing, hardened by loss, once slick and polished, has lost all its gloss. Uh, part of steel. I was more interested into the rat, to be honest. I didn't even care about him. I'll say boneless chicken wings. Alright, let's throw all this into the uh, pot. Yeah, throw that arm in there. Yeah. A little bit of brain. A little bit of heart. Look at it bubble. Look at it shake. The beast. It's awake. What the hell is that? We mean the beast is awake. <laughs> You're getting chased by some giant weird robotic dog bear. Look, Jimmy, father's screening the Black Wanderer. Oh, so their dad was a director or something. Movie's almost over. Time to go. Bedroom. We can go down in here. Maybe this leads to the bedroom? Isn't this the beginning? It is. I've been getting complaints about noises up in the balcony. People are scared the damn thing is gonna fall on their bloody heads. Who do you keep it off limits? Damn thing can barely support its own weight. I don't know, it's weird because it's like a it's like their house and also like a movie theater or something like that. But we're back here. Careful. Don't step into the light, or he'll see you. Who is here? An unintelligible name. In recognition of your distinguished service and documenting the courageous struggle of His Majesty's troop on the Western Front, as well as injuries sustained on the field of battle, the War Office has decided to award you with the Silver War Badge. May you wear it with pride, knowing that you have fulfilled your duty to king and country. The decoration ceremony will take place on the 5th of January, sincerely, on behalf of the chief of the Imperial General Staff. So he was in the... military or something? Let me make sure it's not this door that I had the key for. Yep. Apparently it wants us to stay away from the light. Apparently it's only in the like main room. It's parents. Nothing else. Oh, 
Oh, one of these. That's good. We can kind of see another picture. Same picture on the side of the bed. That's kind of weird. It's like a mirror. All right, well, I think we're good to keep on moving. Oh. Door's locked now. The hell is that? A mat or a mouth. You were always bad luck. A blight upon this family. I give everything, and what do I get in return? A little gratitude? A little heart? Is that too much to ask? So what, he blamed his failures on his A son? A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. Probably. A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve. That's all I need. He's gonna repeat that, huh? Alright, just make sure there's nothing else there. A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve. That's all I need. Why does it sound like he's getting angry and angrier? A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve. That's all I need. Alright, can we find an ace maybe? A lucky break. An ace of my slave. That's all I need. I don't see this ace, man. A lucky break. An ace of my slave. That's all I need. Dahlia, the top man crossed out, top woman. She likes boys a lot and girls too. She's very friendly. Maybe a bit too much. A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve. That's all I need. I'm trying to see like where this ace might be. Okay, let's go back to normal. Yeah, we've already read that. So let's see if we can find like an ace somewhere. He said an ace up my sleeve. So maybe in some of his clothes. The hell is that? I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. How could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. Keep her close to your heart. Don't let her be forgotten. She gave everything for you. Prove that it was worth it. That you weren't a mistake. That you weren't a mistake. And the ace is what we need for the father. Or like chill him out or at least not, you know, cause him to kill us because he couldn't win at a poker game. Make sure there's nothing in here. A lucky break! An ace of my slave! A blackened heart. Uprooted by tragedy. Skewered by pain. That's all you've ever given me. That's all you. Forever good for. Man, he's still pissed off at us, apparently. Can we leave now or no? Apparently not. I don't see anything else. But look, it's kind of like frightened up there. Well, let's take this back. useless no good to anyone it's life 
I was never there. It would have been better if I was never there. This shit is getting sad. <laughs> like, super sad. Oh, look at that. I'm watching. Let's go. Father will be leaving the projection room soon. All right, now we have the key to the basement. And back into repetition. All right, and I think we're going to stop there today. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, we're playing as the childhood of probably one of the two kids, and he did not have a good childhood, that's for sure. It's probably why they ran off into that boat. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again in the next one.